Hey y'all, uh, good day, good day, um, it's not Monday, it's Tuesday, I'm out here, uh, sitting in the sunshine, crying like a baby, um, why, I just have an overwhelming sense of, um, gratitude and that, you know, what's been given back to me in my life, after, uh, you know, I had something happen to me that, you know, I didn't think that I could ever live again. You know, I'm paralyzed from the chest down. I was an addict for over 20 years. Uh, overdoses, overdoses, overdoses. All the things that comes with them, people, places and things. But, uh, I was blessed with the chance to be given a little bit of awareness. And I, I realized that if my life would have gone on without being gifted that from God... Um, and the, the ways that I, I was able to find it, that I would have continued to live in underwear, that I would have continued living with my legs, but I would have continued hurting people, man. I would have continued hurting people, and not even aware of the hurt that I was causing myself as well. Because I, I know that just by being more aware of myself, mindful of what's going on and what I'm saying out my mouth and the interactions I'm having, that I'm aware of a lot more pain than I've caused people. And that's hard. It's, I feel guilty. I feel so guilty and, you know, just saying I'm sorry doesn't feel like it's enough. When I recognize that the people that love me, that's that's all that is needed. It's, it's exactly enough. And I just want to know, what you all know, um, if you're down and out or if you're in a bad situation, if you don't know my story, um, you can check me out on the channel a little bit, um, and I'm not even sharing a lot. I was drinking and driving accident on my 26th birthday, and I was left unable to move or feel my body um, from my chest down. My apartment burned down while I was in a coma. coma. My wife left shortly after. My drug addiction spiraled down even further because I had to numb even more. Uh, and, it, and it went on for over 15 years like that. Yeah. Went on over 15 years like that because them lessons weren't enough. Weren't enough. Weren't enough. Uh, and God just, for whatever reason, uh, felt that I had, a, I had a greater calling in that, you know, there's something bigger for me than the tragedy that happened. Whether that's through someone I communicate with or whether that's just for me finding peace and happiness I don't care but I know I have to pay back to God. I know I have to pay back to the divine. Um, and uh, I know that I can't wake up no matter how my day how bad my day seems to start and that victim mentality starts kicking in my squirrels are around me but the victim mentality kicks in saying ooh this that because of this that project you know the blame I, it don't matter how bad the day starts we know there's there's better better states of mind within us that we're able to you know ha have and maintain control of but I, I just had to I had to come out here and I had to post this uh, just watching some videos of the past two years with me and my lovely Wendy. That's, you know, God's gifted me again. Uh, I haven't been in a relationship uh, for a long time. And, uh, you know, I, I finally God, you know, gave me someone that sees everything they need to see. Um, and the things that I'm able to do. And it just drives me further to do more. Because there's still more bigger things ahead. You know, we have some uh, some stuff going forward, trying to get you know the family back together. And, and uh, Wendy's children are my children, so in a sense, you know, we gotta get the family back together. But I love y'all, man. I just had to, I had to post this. Uh, uh, peace. Anybody that follows me, likes, subscribes, whatever you need to do. If I I if I say something that you know sparks a seed or uh, just causes any kind of positive feelings. I'm grateful for that. 
Uh, I love y'all and have a wonderful day.